Hi everyone, this is Josh Johnson and I wanted to answer a few questions about Google Sites. Uh, the first question that was asked is how do you move the pages around on a sitemap? So if you notice over here I've got my sitemap. Um, one of the things when I'm in my editing mode is I can manage the pages. Um, right now I have a bunch of different web pages that are kind of organized um, kind of like a folder structure uh, but it can be sometimes hard to find and maybe I want them in a different order over here so I'm gonna click on the manage pages button and then I'm gonna reopen these things and you'll notice that it says I can just click and drag to move the pages so for example I can take the file cabinet and I moved that out. So I, I, I dragged it out to the home page and you'll notice it brings it to the same level. If I drag the file cabinet over to page one, it's going to put it underneath page one. So now I have a website where my home page is here and then all of the sites are underneath my home page. Uh, I'll show you what that looks like when we go back to our, go back to the actual site. So you'll see here's my home page and then all of the sub pages of my home page. Another question that was asked is how do I change the name of my site? You can do that underneath the cog menu under manage site. And you remember when I first created this site it was actually called the Joshua Johnson IDC test. Uh, that's because the site is going to be the same URL as the name. But now that I have the site created, I can change the name of my site. And save that. That's All that's going to change is the, the title that you're going to see on that first page of my site. It is not going to change the um, the address of my site. So if you take a look, here's my Joshua Johnson or Joshua's IDC sample. The final question that was asked was what would the best way to put videos on a page be? And I had showed that uh, before. I really think you have uh, a variety of options. You could do your video cab or your videos in an announcement if you were going to release them, let's say day after day, like a blog. And you could, when you create a post, put the videos, and that would keep the newest videos on top. Um, another option is in the file cabinet. Um, these are especially useful if the videos, let's say, that you record on Screencastify are on your Google Drive. You can add the videos that way, or you can simply add a link um, to a video. Personally, though, I think the web page is the best way to add a video. Uh, if I edit this web page, remember, I can simply uh, go into the insert and grab the, the YouTube and then put the example video um, or the, the video URL that I want and then those videos will go right in here. Um, you can change the size, uh, but there are some other things that might help you to organize them, maybe to use more of the page. And underneath the layout of this page, I'm going to change it to three columns. And then I can come over here and insert another YouTube video. I'm just gonna do the same one. And then have kind of a, a layout that looks like this. And you could do two columns, three columns, however you want to do that. And they don't all have to be videos. They can be um, whatever you want in there. It does mean, though, that when you are editing this page, that you are going to have to keep in mind that you've got three columns that you are writing in. Hopefully that uh, will answer the questions that were asked and might help uh, the rest of you as you continue working on your websites. Thanks for watching.